Well, hello, this is Coach Leslie, and I want to welcome you to the Purpose Diva Show. We're in my home here in Dallas, Texas, and I wanted to send, I wanted to really just check in with my teen girls and see how we're doing. I'm sure by now many of you have seen or heard about the Erica Baidu uh, video that she did here in Dallas, and I wanted to just check in with you to see how you're doing, how are you feeling about that? Um, I know that there are a lot of people who are saying that this is artistic expression. There are some individuals saying that it was indecency. And I just want to check in with you, my teen girls, and see what are your thoughts? How are you feeling about it? I know when my daughter saw it, the first thing she said was, oh, she's just trying to sell tickets or boost her album. And I thought that was interesting. And one of the things I'm concerned about is that we are maybe becoming too desensitized because this seems to be something that's almost the norm now. What is happening to the moral compass of our country? Is it artistic expression? Is it indecency exposure? What are your thoughts about it? I know for me, I found, first of all, it was odd and strange that she wanted to raise social awareness in our hometown where if she really was trying to raise social awareness, why not address the teen pregnancy issue? Was she not aware that Texas is number three in teen pregnancy and that Dallas, Texas is number one in repeat teen pregnancy? Uh, would that have been a more, um, more social consciousness that should have been uh, raised on that issue since this is our hometown? Um, and she also mentioned that she shared it and asked uh, with her family and she shared it with her daughters. And I'm thinking now, are they teenagers? And are teenagers really fully mature enough to understand the magnitude of what that uh, conversation was about? And just a couple of things I just want to throw out and see how you're feeling about it. Because can you imagine what her teenage daughter may be going through right now as uh, young men are making sexual comments about her mother? Uh, what about her girlfriends? You know, what happens when she walks in a place with her mother and everyone knows what she looks like? Listen, your body is sacred. You decide who you share it with. There are other ways of doing things. I'm not saying she doesn't have a right to do things, but everything should be done decently and in order. And ultimately, as a parent, our primary goal is the well-being, the safety of our children. And again, I don't think a 13-year-old or whatever age she may be as a teenager is fully able to understand the magnitude of what she was really saying to her daughter that she was really getting ready to do. So again, I just want to check in and see how you were doing. Um, not pass the judgment on Baidu by any means. I just want to check in with you and see how are you doing. How are you faring with this? Is this something that you think, oh, that's just another artist? Um, they have, they, you know, they have lived by different rules than we do. Um, you know, and what would be the outcome had she gone through the proper channel? Because it's one thing to have artistic expression, but does that mean you don't have to abide by the law and go through the proper channels of getting um, things okay through the city in which you are wanting to do this? And what happens when the next individual, now that the bar has been set, what happens when the next individual wants to de declare their artistic expression and goes over the top? When does it become too much and when does it come more than enough? Because just because you can do something, teen girls, listen to me carefully. Just because you can do something does not necessarily mean you should do it. Understand that. There are consequences to everything. And I hope for the sake of Miss Baidu that she thought through this whole process and will be able to understand and handle the consequences of what she's done. It's amazing to me how many artists and athletes and people in the, uh, in the public eye want to say that they're really not role models. How is it that you can design songs, want us to purchase your CD, want us to buy tickets to your concert, want us to fill your stadium, want us to fill your arena, and then you not be accountable to us in the things that you do? True enough, you're not going to be able to uh, please everybody, but you do have an obligation and a responsibility to the next generation that is behind you. Because what you put in the ground will come up, whether it's good or bad. And the seed that Ms. Baidu has planted, what are the repercussions? What's going to come up out of that ground for her children? What's going to come up out of that ground for her career? You only have to ask Chris Brown to understand that your fans will make you or break you. Because right now he is begging his fans to bring him back. But then what happened to your responsibility? And true, we all make mistakes. Understand that. But then you have to understand you have a responsibility. 
in everything that you do, you are a role model. Because when you understand the definition of a role model, it's someone whose behavior is emulated by others. Now, how can you control that? But what you can control is your behavior in the presence of others. And so, teen girls, let this be a lesson. This is a coaching moment for you. That whatever you do, people are always watching. Whatever you do, people are always watching. There are some young girls in elementary school right now watching what you're doing. There are some young girls in your community, your church, your family. They're watching you. Make sure that your behavior is positively emulated by others. Well, this has been Coach Leslie. We just wanted to check in with you on the latest that's going on in our country. So be blessed. Until next time, know that I love you. And know it is not about you living your life. I'm more concerned about you living your life on purpose. Bye now.